In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for the office of evening prayer. The heavens declare the glory of God. Let us worship and praise Him. Lord, open our lips that we may glorify and praise Your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do join with me on page 55 in our prayer books, as we say, Come bless the Lord together. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who by night stand in the house of our God, lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And so, beloved, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone, for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our appointed psalm is Psalm 91. And it can be found on page 720 in our prayer books. Psalm 91 on page 720. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, who abides under the shadow of the Almighty, he will say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. 
for he will deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the destroying curse. He will cover you with his wings and you will be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness will be your shield and defense. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night or by the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that walks about in darkness or the plague that destroys at noonday. A thousand may fall beside you and 10,000 at your right hand, but you it will not touch. Your own eyes shall see and look on the reward of the ungodly. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Therefore no harm will befall you, nor will any scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels to keep you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. He has set his love upon me, and therefore I will deliver him. I will lift him out of the danger because he has known my name. When he calls upon me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life I will satisfy him and fill him with my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson is written in John chapter 10. And I read from verse 31 to verse 42. John chapter 10, verse 31 to verse 32. Again the Jews picked up stones to stone him, but Jesus said to them, I've shown you many great miracles from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any of those, replied the Jews but for blasphemy, because you, a mere man, claim to be God? Jesus answered them, It is not written in your law. I have said, to you, I have said you are gods. If I call them gods to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, what about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent him into the world. Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy because I said, I am God's son? Do not believe me unless I do what my Father does. But if I do it, even though you do not believe me, believe the miracles that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I in the Father. Again they tried to seize him, but he escaped their grasp. And then Jesus went back across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing in the early days. Here he stayed and many people came to him. They said, though John never performed a miraculous sign, all that John said about this man was true. And in that place many believed in Jesus. Here ends our lesson. This evening I particularly want to draw our attention to the book of Psalms. And we know that in the book of Psalms, God repeatedly invites us to find our hope, our joy, our salvation, and our refuge in him. It is all about dwelling in safety and security. When we are tired, afraid, or sad, all we want is a place to go to where we can find rest and peace. When we are lonely, 
We need a shelter. And we all need our safe places, isn't it? We can take refuge in the presence of the Lord, knowing that nothing can separate us from God's love. A refuge is a place of safety and protection like the, like the psalmist, we certainly can trust God's faithfulness. There are so many dangers out in the world in this past week. I've learned of so many folk that have been kidnapped, personal friends of ours, hijacked. We thank God that they are, they wouldn't physically harm, but the trauma they are has left them very, very sad and pained and anxious. But we thank God that we can turn to him in our time of trouble, that indeed we can make our way to him and dwell in the security and the safety that he offers. Kari Ten Boom once said, Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. And so, friends, while we continue to see this unprecedented things across the nations of the world and get puzzled by all that is changing at such a rapid pace, we can be of good cheer by remembering that our lives are in God's hands. May you and I, in spite of the many challenges we face, that this night we can turn to God who is our strength, our refuge, and our shield. Amen. We say the song of Simeon together. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Baptismal Creed, I believe and trust in God the Father who made the world. I believe and trust in his Son Jesus Christ who redeemed humankind. I believe and trust in his Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God. I believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so, Lord, we thank you for your word today and for the wonderful reminder that you are our safe place, that you are our refuge. And so, Lord, we come to you this day and we place our hope and our trust in you, our rock of our salvation. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you care for us. Thank you that you never leave us and never forsake us. And so, Lord, as the challenges come against us this day, we thank you, Lord, that you are with us. And so, Lord, we continue to pray for your church, and for all those who minister therein, we pray for bishops and clergy, 
And at this time, dear Lord, we remember our cathedral clergy and we pray your blessing upon us as you call us, Lord, to lead your people in this part of your work and vineyard. Bless our families, keep them safe as they support us in ministry. And to your people whom we lead, Lord, we pray, Father, your blessing upon them. May they know your love in time of challenge. May they know that you are our refuge and our strength. To all those that are ill, known and unknown to us, May they know your consolation. May they know your love. May they know your healing touch this night. So come, Lord, as you continue to bless us in this place. The eternal God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works proceed, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. So lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy defend us in all perils and dangers of the night for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. I trust and pray that you will have a good night's rest. God bless and goodbye.